This is Old Testament Premium Podcast 2 on Cain and Abel. Warm greetings from Atlanta, Georgia, where I'm recording today's lesson and where our family lives. Last time, we looked at Adam and Eve. We saw there are many lessons that apply to us. We pick it up in chapter 4 as we read about the first of their offspring, Cain and Abel. Chapter 4, verse 1. Adam lay with his wife Eve, and she became pregnant and gave birth to Cain. And she said, With the help of the Lord I have brought forth a man. Later she gave birth to his brother Abel. Whereas in chapter 3, the first couple are disobedient, they are ejected from Eden, in chapter 4 we see that life goes on. They begin to build a family. In chapter 5 we see that there are actually many sons and daughters, but in accord with typical Old Testament usage, only the, the boys are usually mentioned. And so, they have Cain, and they have Abel. Now, Abel kept flocks, and Cain worked the soil. In the course of time, Cain brought some of the fruits of the soil as an offering to the Lord. But Abel brought fat portions from some of the firstborn of his flock. The Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering, but on Cain and his offering, he did not look with favor. So Cain was very angry, and his face was downcast. Then the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry? Why is your face downcast? If you do what is right, will you not be accepted? But if you do not do what is right, sin is crouching at your door. It desires to have you, but you must master it. Now Cain said to his brother Abel, Let's go out to the field. And while they were in the field, Cain attacked his brother Abel, and he killed him. We see two brothers bring two sacrifices. We're not told why one was inferior to the other. And that's really not even integral to the story. The important thing is the way Cain reacted when challenged. When the Lord commends Abel, but does not accept Cain's offering, Cain is filled with negativity. He's filled with negativity, with with jealousy. He's consumed. He cannot handle this. He cannot bear to come in second place. Cain is an interesting character. And to be honest, every time I read Genesis, I guess I've read it, must have read it 50 times by now, I, I read about Cain and I see a bit of me in there. And sometimes I see a lot of me in there. I think it's very important as we read the Bible not to simply express shock or worse, just understanding while distancing ourselves from these characters. They have a lot to teach us through their strengths and through their weaknesses. Yes, we, we do connect with Cain. Cain has the original Hebrew name Cain, and perhaps that has some significance. It means spear as the weapon. That's probably over-interpreting to base anything on the original word. But his brother is probably a different situation. Hevel in Hebrew, Hevel, H-E-V-E-L, means vapor. Vapor, like a mist. 